Today we're going to cover the properties of exponents. And these properties are very easy, but it's amazing how quickly people forget them. And so uh, even though they're easy today, it's going to be important that we remember them in the future. This is a skill we just have to have for algebra. Let's say that I have x to the third. Let's review what that means to start. If I have x to the third power, that does not mean 3 times x. It means x times x times x times x. It does mean that there's three x's, but it doesn't mean 3 times x. It means those three x's are multiplied together. All right? So x times x times x. Obviously, if I had... Um, a to the fourth, that would be a times a times a times a. It's very important that we know what an exponent means. But what I'd like for you to consider now is what if I had this situation? Um, x to the third times x to the twelfth. Now, if I wanted to write all of those x's out, I could. But there's a much easier way. It would be x, and it's not going to be to the 36th power. Think of this. Doesn't this mean x times x times x? Right? This is going to be to the 15th power. And that leads us to our first property of exponents. So, uh, let's say multiplying like bases with exponents. The description of the property is a lot longer than the property itself, I promise you. Let's say that I have x to the 8 power times x to the b power. Okay? That does say like bases, yes. If I have x to the a times x to the b, this property says that that is equal to x to the a plus b. I add the exponents, and that is your first property of exponents that we're learning today. Now notice I did write this word like bases. This only works if the bases are the same letter or the same number. All right? So that's only true if they are the same base. So let's do a couple quick examples. This will be very easy. Let's say that I had m to the fourth times m to the seventh. m to the fourth times m to the seventh. Well, the property we just learned says if I have like bases, I add the exponents. So it's m to the what? Eleventh power. Okay? Pretty easy. What if I have n times n to the fifth? Now, we didn't talk about this. If I don't write a power up there, that power is a 1. So what's 1 plus 5? It's 6. So this is n to the 6th. Sometimes you might have three expressions, like a to the 7th times a times a to the 9th something like that. Well, you just add up all of them, since aren't they all a like base? So 7 plus 1 plus 9 is going to be 17, a to the 17th power. 
You might also have one with more than one base, like this. X to the fifth times Y to the third times X to the seventh times Y squared, something like that. Now, if you have one like that where you have more than one um, base, you can only add the ones that have like bases. So I'm looking at this x term and this x term. So what's 5 plus 7? 12. 12. So that will become x to the 12th times y to the 5th. All right, so you'll see some like that tonight. Now, you leave it like that. That's all we can do. There's nothing else I can do because those are not like terms. Now, if we add the exponents when we multiply, what do you think we do when we divide? Yep. Let's just, instead of writing out that big long thing, let's just put dividing. If I have x to the a power divided by x to the b power, then that is equal to x to the a minus b. And that's your property for dividing. If it's division with like bases, then you subtract the exponents. So let's do some, and notice it's always the top minus the bottom. So you always start with the top power. So let's do some examples of dividing. Let's say that I had a to the 15th over a to the 13th. Well, that is division. So I, and I do have like bases, so all I have to do is 15 minus 13. So this is a squared. Now, of course, they could write it as a division problem this way. x to the 17th divided by x to the 11th. They could write it that way. So if that's the case, then it's going to be 17 minus 11, which is x to the 6th. Now the last thing that you, you're going to have to do tonight is they're going to ask you if a statement is true or false. True or false. And they're going to give you a statement and they, and they want you to tell whether it's true or not. How about 5 to the third equals 15? Is that a true statement or a false statement? It's false because 5 to the third does not mean 5 times 3. That's wrong. It means 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. This one is false. So they're going to give you an expression, and then you have to determine using the properties whether it's true or not. Let's do one more. m to the fourth times m to the third equals m to the twelfth. Is that true or false? This one is also false. I don't multiply the exponents, I add the exponents. This should have been a 7. This one is also false. So you'll have some problems like that tonight and we will stop there for today.